Hi guys, how are you? This is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. So here we are designing this course boxes, right? Or the course cards or the list of all the courses we are trying to design it. <clears throat> now we will do in this video, we will complete little bit of tweaks and also the selection thing. And if you are having this designing of these badges and if you change the status, changing the color of these badges and all those things, we will try to see based on the course status, we will try, try to change it. So this is uh, this is all what this video is about. Now we, let's start this one. Now here, if you try to see the thing which we have uh, stopped in the middle of the previous video, if I click on this one and if I click on this one, little bit of zigzag is going on. So for each courses, if you try to see a little bit of disturbance is coming. So in order to overcome this one, what is happening is normally if the course is not selected, the border is one pixel black color it is. But when you select this one, it is becoming two pixel black because of this one. This is moving all the courses little bit down. If you try to see here, it is moving little bit down. In order to overcome this one, what we need to do is, so we can decrease the padding of this one, padding of this one. So for example, let's say that the padding for this one is uh, something like in the course component says 20 pixel, right? If you decrease the padding, then the border two pixel will be automatically helpful to that one. Now, if I try to do this one, host of dot selected. So if the, if the same element is having, having an dot selected class means selected class means I will make it as a 19 pixel. Now see what will happen. Now the selected box will have only 19 pixel. Now the zigzag has gone away. If you try to see here, now the zigzag has gone away. So this is how we can do it. Now the border is taking one pixel, right? I have decreased the padding to 19 pixel. So that means this one will have a padding of 19 pixel only so that it will be automatically adjusted. Fine. Now let's try to design this uh, badge. Now here the badge is looking something like a part of this title. It should not be like that. It should be have a badge. So now how can I do this one is in our bootstrap. So we should not use it with the label here. We should use the badge. Okay. Badge. And if you want to apply this one of uh, the background color for the badges, you can add BG hyphen secondary secondary. Okay, BG hyphen secondary. Now, if you try to see the output for this one, let's check the my courses. Yeah, here you will be able to see a badge color. And here, if you try to select this one, so it is working fine. Now, when I select this one, when I change this status, this badge should change the color. For example, if it is in the active, it should be green color. If it is inactive, it should be in some other color like that. It should be now for in order to make this one. What I need to do for this badge one, I need to change this color. So here I can remove this one and here I can apply an ng class. Okay. Or otherwise it should be something like a bracket and here I will write get course status class. I will apply method for this. So let's copy this method and go to the course.component.ts file Yeah, here and here I will paste it class. And here I need to write the method. So I will use the return. If I need to apply a BG hyphen success, if the course dot status is active, yes, correct. But active is in for us. It is in small letter. And I need to apply BG hyphen secondary. If it is in inactive, yes, correct. It's correct. And if I need to apply BG hyphen uh, danger, if it is not retired, if it is draft. Now I will apply these course status classes to this one. Now it's a, everything hopefully is working fine. Let's see whether the color is changing or not. Active, it is in green color. Yes, we are getting the color as we expected. Now if I try to change it to inactive, update status, so it has changed it to inactive. Fine. If I change it to draft, update status, it has changed it to draft. Everything is working as expected for us. Now this is how we will be changing the badge color and before completing, before wrapping up this one all, I will try to do, for example, if this one is in inactive state, okay, update status, the entire, what I can say is the entire text and all those things which are having here, it should be converted into uh, like a gray color. Okay. So no uh, indicating that this course is in the inactive state. So for this one, what we need to do is. Let's go to the courses.component.html. Here, this is the thing, right? I will try to apply another class like, uh, let's say inactive. Okay, inactive. 
when this should be inactive when the course dot status is inactive i will be applying an inactive class now for this inactive class in the css let's go to the css and here i will apply an inactive and here i will apply what i can say is or otherwise inactive class is there now let's say that uh, let's go to the course dot component dot css here right now let's say that host which is having an inactive okay and i want to apply um something like color hash ccc so gray color now let's see whether this one will be applied or not now if i try to show you uh, inactive here if i click on the update status see everything has been converted into gray color now if i try to make this one as inactive everything has been converted into inactive now let's say that this should not be selected okay this box should not be for example if i click here this is selected right if this should not be selected means what i can do is uh, we can do simple what i can do is in our courses dot component .cs, we have a dot inactive right dot inactive if it is having dot inactive then apply a border of um, two pixel solid hash ccc okay i will apply like this now if you try to see here uh, let's see whether we can able to see it or not now if i try to change it to inactive and if i click on the update status see now the border is also not selected if i click on this one it is selected now if i click on this one this is not selected okay so now here you are getting a jerking effect right why we are getting this jerking effect is now here we are applying two pixel and both of these were applied for example if you try to apply one pixel only now if you try to see if i try to update this one inactive yeah here this one will be applied if i click on this one see you will be able to see but still we are able to get a jerk effect for this one what we can do is so we can make this one is an apply and active only but we will try to do it like this so then it will be fine so this is how we will be making this one also for example let's say that if i try to make this one an active what i will try to do is i will try to make this one as a select but i will try to remain this one as an inactive only so this is how we will be making this is the final tweak of this one next onwards you'll try to do the animations and all those things now what i will do is i will commit this all the code in a new branch video hyphen 19 i am creating a new branch video hyphen 19 and what i can see is designing the course part 2 this one is part 2 and let's commit this all the code whoever may be having a doubts and all those things let's publish this branch also Oh, what is saying is this thing so much of him yeah publishing so this is committed and let's publish this branch yeah fine whoever may be having a doubts and all those things if you want to refer the css code and all those things so they can go to my github repository url here the link will be provided in the description below so the github repository link you can you can there you can go there and you can check this code so whatever the video you're trying to watch it you can go to that particular video branch and you can get the reference of the code this is guys about the designing thing. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.